My name is Kara O'Neill. I'm Chief Science Officer at Cure San Filippo Foundation. I'm a pediatrician, but I'm also a mom to two beautiful children. San Filippo syndrome is caused by a single gene defect. And it's almost unbelievable to think that one letter misspelled in your entire genetic code can lead to such a devastating disorder. When children are born with San Filippo syndrome, they often appear um, typical and healthy like any other child. The first signs of San Filippo that come to awareness typically are some speech delay. San Filippo syndrome developmentally and how the child behaves often starts with something that looks like autism and ends with something that looks like Alzheimer's disease. So for the children early on um, there's a lot of frustration because they they start to fall behind their peers. Parents often um, will have a sense that something is different about their child, but um, it really doesn't come to the attention of medical professionals. People often don't start seeking answers until the child's around one to three years of age. And so children often end up um, having some early interventions, some early therapies, and they're diagnosed with developmental delay. San Filippo syndrome progresses over time from a child that looks very energetic, happy, healthy, to a child that begins to lose their ability to walk, to learn, to swallow and eat by mouth. They develop seizures and movement disorders and eventually are bedridden and, and pass away typically in their early teens. So these things are really, really tough as a parent to just be starting to get to know your child's personality, they're talking to you, they're playing, and then they start to lose those skills. So you get a glimpse of what life might have been like for them, um, and then, then you start to grieve what, what you know will happen. Children with this condition don't have time to wait. Every day, more brain cells are being damaged, they're losing more skills, and we have to act fast. Our mission here at Care San Filippo Foundation is to help find and support moving treatments forward faster. Kira is very energetic and happy most of the time. She really loves to be around people and um, really likes kind of looking at and interacting with people and very often it feels like she's staring right into your soul. Dora the Explorer is her very, very, very favorite thing. Um, it's one of the things that we still use to kind of calm her down or make her smile. Um, and she also really loves books. Um, it's been that way since she was an infant and still really loves to play with books. It's really difficult to, you know, have not be able to help your child at all, just to feel so helpless. Right? She's crying, you don't know why, there's nothing you can do, you don't know how to do it, you don't know what you can do. One of her favorite songs, probably her very favorite song, is the Happy Birthday song. And she loved to sing it, and even if it wasn't anyone's birthday, she would usually um, just sing Happy Birthday to whomever the last birthday party was that we went to. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Eliza. Happy birthday to you. We've seen a lot of changes in Kira since um, diagnosis. Um, she lost almost all of her words about two years ago um, when she was seven and a half. It's been one of the hardest things for me. More recently, probably about the past six months to a year, she's um, started to experience just a lot more physical discomfort and started having um, different sources of pain, uh, some head pressure and um, issues with her muscles and bones, um, which have impacted her mobility a little bit. Um, the pain and discomfort is really difficult um, to see and that, that change has, I think for me, been the most heartbreaking. Um, you know, a lot of us know, I think most parents know when their child's first, right, 
right? The first time they took a step, the first time they, you know, said a word, the first word they said, or. I love you. I love you. Aww. I love you too. I love you. I love you. Do you love Keaton? Do you love baby Keaton? Keaton. Yeah, she's up here. Do you love Keaton? Do you, Do you love, love baby Keaton? Say, I love you, baby Keaton. I love you. Keaton says, I love you, Kira. Say, I love you. I love you. I love you. We were very fortunate to get her last time that we heard her say, I love you on film. So, and that's been really, um, you know, kind of a, a blessing that we were able to capture that, but also very um, heartbreaking at the same time, right? Um, just to never be able to hear your child kind of express herself like that. And, When a parent hears the words, your child has San Filippo syndrome, everything changes for them and for their entire family forever, quite honestly. Uh, there's, there's nothing like hearing your child has been diagnosed with a terminal disease, uh, and in addition, one that is uh, degenerative and rapidly degenerative. So you feel immediately like you're out of time for your child and you don't know where to turn. Our foundation is here as a first stopping point for families that are diagnosed with San Filippo. They usually give us a call on the phone and we have a discussion about the disease. It's a very hard thing for a family to hear and to try to understand um, what to make of it and to try to move forward. When our daughter Eliza was diagnosed, we felt compelled and we felt almost a duty to do something about it and to change the fate for children with San Filippo syndrome and for future generations. That's why we created Cure San Filippo Foundation. Cure San Filippo's mission is to advocate for and fund research directed towards a cure or treatment options for San Filippo syndrome. In our first couple of years, our foundation was able to help fund two clinical trials for gene therapy, which are now treating children. Since then, we've been able to fund many research grants around the world investigating all different types of research into the brain and into neurological diseases. Thanks to incredibly generous support from people around the world and from families of children with San Filippo jumping in the fight, we raise millions every year to fund research for treatments and for clinical trials. We are continuously looking to raise more funds to bring more treatment options to children with this disease. We will achieve our goal to stop this disease and give children back their lives, and give parents back their children, and give siblings back their playmates. It does not have to be this way. Help us change fate. Help us cure San Filippo.